We are now just a week out from Election Day. One of the major races, who will replace Bill Gore as the next San Diego County Sheriff? There are seven people vying for that job. ABC 10 News reporter Adam Rakusin spoke with candidates on a variety of topics, including how they plan to keep and recruit deputies and how the department responds to mental health calls. In our 4 p.m. show, you heard from three of the candidates. Now, here's the other three. Kelly Martinez has spent 37 years in law enforcement. She's the current undersheriff and has served in every rank at the sheriff's department. Dave Meyer served in law enforcement for 35 years, finishing his career with the San Diego County Sheriff's Department. Jonathan Peck is a highway patrol officer that spent 19 years in law enforcement. He describes himself as a constitutional candidate. Hiring and retention has been a struggle for the sheriff's department. We asked the candidates how they plan to change that. You know, a lot of it is the value we bring to people. If they can look at our, our department and see value there, see that there's a great reason to be with us, that we're the better department, we're the better place to be, that we have. Um, it's a challenging profession, but it's also very rewarding. And if people can see that, I think that's how we keep them and we retain them. I firmly believe that we need to recruit from areas within the agency of neighborhoods where we police. We must look like the communities, and that's not going to happen if you have mistrust. And if you have an agency whose leadership continues to perpetuate mistrust within the communities from failed leadership. Over the, uh, the riots of 2020, nobody at the top of law enforcement stood up for their guys. And that was a big deal for everyone on patrol on the front lines. And they realized that they didn't have anybody who had their back within the department. And that's why a lot of people decided to leave. And then on top of that, we had all these COVID mandates and people just decided, I don't want to deal with this stuff. I'm going to leave law enforcement. And that's a lot of reason why you know, we can't get new people in there either, because those people within the departments now aren't recruiting anyone. And that's a huge part of you know, recruitment is word of mouth to family and friends. Earlier this month, it was announced that all 11 law enforcement agencies in the San Diego County region will now be able to refer mental health crises calls that come in to 911 to a county sponsored mobile crisis response team. We asked the candidates how law enforcement should handle those types of calls with deputies or specially trained experts. I think it's uh, there's really a lot of layers to that. So there are some calls for service that definitely do not need a law enforcement response. I think the mental, mobile crisis response teams are fantastic and we've been helping get those on board. You can call 911 and we'll divert those calls to those teams if that's where it should go. Uh, then we have the other layer with the PERT team where a deputy and a clinician respond to calls and then they proactively check on folks uh, so that they can keep them uh, with their medications or with the treatment that they need. And then there's those calls where people are in crisis and those sometimes re require a deputy sheriff that can handle that call. I think law enforcement has been shoved into this mental health crisis. The problem with that is we don't train our law enforcement on a consistent basis on how to deal with individuals in mental health crisis. So when law enforcement gets there, their go-to position is, I've been trained to find a criminal violation so I could arrest you and put you in jail. That solves my immediate problem. That is a waste of resources. It doesn't address the underlying issues. I am fully in support of these mobile crisis response teams and crisis stabilization centers. Right now, there is a combination. The PERT team clinician has a deputy with them. And that's good because you don't want to send a mental, mental health professional into a dangerous situation. You know, it's best to be evaluated at first by a deputy, but you run into, you know, the police showing up and somebody with mental problems seeing that and feeling threatened. So it's just a very fine line there, but it's just too dangerous to send the mental health people in first without the situation being stabilized. Adam Rakusin, ABC 10 News. We did not hear back from candidate Juan Carlos Mercado. To hear from all six candidates, you can head to our website, 10news.com.